you want to do a speed round? You want to do a speed round like I just did with Johnny? Because I got some questions. Yeah, speed round with chill foot. Number one, what's the craziest non-combat thing that you witnessed while on deployment? We all know about the crazy oh, I got combat a good one. shit. I got a good all one. All right. Yes. So, Here we go. So while I was uh, while I was at the HLZ, right, right outside of our uh, of the base, we had a staging point where all the trucks would stage, you know, all the jingle trucks bringing uh, fuel or or whatever, right. Yeah, but I'm sure you've been over there. You see how they they cook everywhere. They all carry the little propane stoves with the, mm-hmm. the little pan, and they they cook rice and stuff everywhere they go, right? Yeah. <laughs> so we're getting we're getting fuel deliveries from Kabul, and these fuel trucks are staged up right outside our base. And this guy is cooking underneath his leaking fuel truck. Blows himself up right outside the base. We watched. We saw the whole thing on our raid camera. He was, I won't say he blows himself up. He was okay. He ran uh, away like as the fire was, was going. Nobody got hurt. It was a, you know, it was a, an accident. It was actually an accident. Yeah. But he was, uh, he was cooking under the truck, blew the whole truck up. Whole, I mean, what's the 5,000 gallons of fuel? I, I don't know how many gallons are in those trucks, but. Was it, was it one of up. the, uh, was it a Hemet fueler? Was it a Hemet No, truck? it was the, uh, the civilians, the, uh, oh, the, the civilians. civilian jingle truck delivery fuel, oh. like the, the local okay. national delivery guys. Oh, it wasn't, he? okay, all right. Yeah, like the local Jeez. national guy blew the truck up. Yeah, yeah, local, Jeez. like, like <laughs> just sitting outside the gate. So we were watching on the raid camera and they saw it, they recorded the whole thing on the raid camera as the truck just went up and Holy fired shit. and he went off running. Wow, that's some <laughs> that that must have been some shit. Uh, oh, yeah. no, number question number two. Rank these Stallone franchi- franchises one to three. Rambo, Rocky, Expendables. Rocky, Rambo, Expendables. Outstanding. Favorite pistol. Ooh, this is gonna be crazy, but I've got a Rock Island Armory nineteen eleven. I, I had a Kimber nineteen eleven. I had I've had all kinds of nineteen elevens. This Cheap, I say cheap, it's like a four hundred dollar nineteen eleven. It just shoots exactly how I want it to all the time. Just Rock Island Armory nineteen eleven. Rock Island Wow. My uh my favorite gun is not my gun. It's my actually my my dad's gun when we go shoot and he has a Kimber nineteen eleven with like yeah. a like a custom grip on it. And that thing is just unbelievable. My I had gun. one a couple years ago and this this Rock Island just out for me it outshot it. I always felt more comfortable with it, so I did. Uh, yeah. You find what you like and you stick with it, man. Exactly. Um, if you got, if you guys could pick a band or an artist to create and perform a kill foot, a kill foot theme song, who would the band be? Who? Um, man, I have to really do a lot more homework on that. Cause I, I try to find a band that had some vets in it, you know, to try to stick with, you know, having all vets. So yeah, man, I, that's... I guess I'm a terrible person for not knowing what vets there are that are crazy artists out there that would that, that are making me. I don't. You, you know what? I don't. I couldn't tell you any any comment. I don't like any veterans that are out there in a the music game. So I yeah, know that, I'd like, have to find one. I know that like certain bands do a lot of stuff for the military. Like uh, oh Five yeah, Finger, absolutely, hundred percent. Yeah, like Five Finger Death Punch does a ton of military related stuff. So. That's well, I was in a... Korea. I saw we actually hung out with a puddle of mud and saliva. They came and did a concert like on the bases in Korea. Yeah. The base I was at was was uh, tiny. It was a small officers camp and uh, almost nobody went. So after the concert, we were at the Mitchell's bar or whatever. And the guys from puddle of mud and saliva went out in Korea and drank with us. It was actually a pretty, pretty cool night. Wow. Yeah. That's a pretty cool story. Yeah, um, it was a good one. What's a terrible movie that you love? Oh, terrible movie that I love. Hmm. Probably any Adam Sandler movie. Like, I mean, I guess it, they, it, they've they just gotten to the point now where they're all the same, but I still watch them and I still laugh the same. So, you know, they're it's kind of like watching the same thing with a little different storyline at this point. So I guess I'll call them terrible, but I, I still watch them. You know what movie? There's two movies that I just absolutely loved growing up, and the consensus would tell you that they're the fucking worst movies ever made. Um, Clifford was one. Yeah, I don't know if you Clifford. I laughed my ass off at that movie and Drop Dead Fred. Drop Dead Fred. Yeah. Yeah, those What's are that those one are, with uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. We goes through the the goes through the uh, screen back into the like comes out of the movie. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, Last Action Hero. Yeah, that one. 
Yeah, that's another I, I good one. I could probably put that one. That, is that a terrible movie? <laughs> I think so. And, yeah, uh, so that's I, one I could probably I could probably watch that again today and not be upset. <laughs> that's awesome, dude. All right, next question. If you if you could only eat one kind of animal for the rest of your life, what would the animal be? Oh, uh, beef. You would pick beef. Yeah. I thought hard on this question. When I was when I was writing these questions for this show, I wrote that question and I'm like, man, I think I would go with a pig. I would go pig. Yeah, I like ham too. Yeah, you got you got pork chops, sausage. pork tenderloin, pulled pork, sausage, bacon. It's like pork you can belly. Make sausage that's pretty hamburger like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right, that's a good one too. All right, fill in the blanks. The last time I blank, I ended up blank. Um, <laughs> the last time I drank, I ended up in trouble. Good enough. That's that's a pretty solid answer across the board. Would you rather be able to see into the future or have the ability to change the past? Probably the future. I'm content yeah. with where I'm at. Right. You know what? That's a, If you're happy with where you're at, everybody would pick the future. And just then the you can. Sports book could be nice. Like if I could just yeah. see the sports book, I'd be good. That's what I was just gonna say. Kind of like the Back to the Future. You get the al almanac and start. Yeah, exactly. Gaming. That's all I need. Just the almanac, and I'll be set. <laughs> I don't need anything else from the future. That a boy. Uh, beer, whiskey, wine, or other. Beer. And last question: What is a Christmas tradition in your family that has never changed, ever? Uh, just about every year we go to my grandfather's house for Christmas, you know, other than while I was in the military. Um, even since he's passed, I have an aunt that lives there now. We, we still go to my grandfather's house, even though it's, you know, not his house anymore. That's, that's still where we go for Christmas every year. That's awesome. You know, it's a tradition that we started a few years ago and, uh, we didn't do it this year and I don't know why my birthday is this Friday. So it falls right around the Christmas holiday. And um, everyone still had their has their pumpkins out. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. I would drive around the neighborhoods where I live, collect everybody's pumpkins, throw them in the back of my truck. Me and like 25 other guys would all bring our arsenals down to my parents land and we'd set the pumpkins all out and there'd be, you know. 10, 12 assault rifles, 15, 20 gun, uh, pistols. My brother would bring you a sniper rifle and we would just have a pumpkin shooting party like a week or two before Christmas every year. Yeah, that's awesome. It, yeah, I want the invite. I, yeah, well, you know what? If we bring it back next year, the, uh, the, the pandemic is really uh, putting a damper on all our fun. You know what I mean? So we'll do well, it we next year. We can even year. talk to Brent about uh, a place to shoot. He's got a nice place right next to his house where we could bring a bunch of pumpkins, and I bet it would work out nice. Dude, the, the annual pumpkin shoot is like, it's a freaking good time, dude. And and I got some friends that have a lot of cool guns, so oh, yeah. it, ends, it ends up being basically like a uh, like a, a gun testing freaking session to find out which one you want to spend your money on next. Everybody should get on our social media and check out like our 4th of July picks. We had a pretty awesome shootout on the 4th. We threw a big kill foot cookout and all yeah. went out shooting. It, it was awesome. We had a really good time. I think I saw photos of that. It's like you look like come you guys next have... year. We, that, it was probably our bad for not inviting you and you and uh, Bob was. We should have. We'll do it next year. I mean, absolutely. All this shit's going to clear up soon, and we'll get back to normal. So we'll have a normal uh, world again. Let's go. Cool.